Notes for my July 2024 reading of Mama Scotch, A Cree Coming of Age. I'm filming this Wednesday, 17 July 2024. I finished it yesterday in the evening, uh, not too far before my bedtime. So I was like, I'll do the video in the morning, the, this book slash reading this video. I'm Tannis Corley Leonardi, she, her, hers of Seattle. I'm going to talk through my book and reading notes for my July 2024 reading of an autobiography slash memoir on teacher in Native American Cree. Uh, Daryl J. McLeod, Mama Scotch, A Cree Coming of Age by Daryl J. McLeod, 2018-2019 Milkweed edi Edition paperback, and I'll put the ISBN in the video description. I started the book on Saturday, 13 July 2024, and finished reading the book on Tuesday, 16 July 2024, so it's 229 pages, including the About the Author section, and it took me four days. This is a copy I got from the local public library system. All right, Let's see how speedy I can be. I try that and then I don't do so well, so. All right, uh, book design. I like the book. I like the cover. I like the feel of it. When I was holding it, I didn't, uh, it was soft enough and firm enough. I didn't have to worry about like creasing it, but it was also rigid enough that when I held it open, um, it, it didn't uh, overly bend. I guess it just goes with the creasing thing. But it also, it didn't, it wasn't, I could, I could, I could kind of, bend the page but not like crease the cover but then also there was a harder surface okay um the print was smaller and text kind of filled the page there was creative stylization around um some different things he brought up including like he featured uh birds prominently throughout his story like wild birds um and not just in a way to make it look like flattering as a in a meaningful way right <laughs> um and so there we go then we have uh, name of mama scotch which is i think cree for teacher and then the name of the chapter and then page at the top and page numbers at the bottom so it's distributed there's paragraph breaks uh that are uh, kind of a symbol design and then there are pictures that are grayscale black and white um, that are inset on the shiny pages style all right so there we go and the the chapter titles were kind of thematic to match the chapter um so there we go it's construction and design uh our page thickness I, I thought I, it didn't bother me. I I didn't have concerns over tearing it. The text didn't shine through. It was it was good. Reading notes. All right. So I this is in right thinking about my own autobiography, sexual orientation. I'm not a heterosexual, and he went through a journey on his sexual orientation in biological sex and gender and stuff and kind of what it meant to him as well as his um, Native American uh, he, Cree is in like mid northern mid to northern canada um i'm still gonna call it native american because that's i'm um, duwamish in lakota and that's something we learned growing up and, um was uh it's not like an empire <laughs> um it was a people's and so that's just yeah and, and the crees that we, we considered native american um yeah and it featured birds throughout the book like um and thought did a really good job it's not some you know pretty bouncy bluebird that's telling them how beautiful they are it's a he included the birds that mattered in his life story like crows um and owls and stuff like that so it was like you know we have owls in the backyard and we have tohees and crows and stuff and so i appreciated the the honesty and genuine care for birds um so in, in what am i trying to say is this might be a, a little similar to where i what my autobiography might look like. Uh, it's an autobiography about internal thought processes. And I think a lot of people might have gone through the same thought processes, but not everybody's as honest as this guy is um, about those internal thought processes when coming of age or growing up. Um, so, and I love that it wasn't uh, centered around, I've won this award or I prefer, performed at this competition or I won this medal or I won, you know, this award or whatever. It was, it was very 
this is a human book. <laughs> so in that sense, it might it might actually be my favorite that I've done these book slash reading notes for. So it's a bit like me. Okay, so and then reading notes. So I got two categories here. So let's see. Uh, the stuff I typed up and then the stuff I marked. Uh, Ukrainian woman is an upper class slash high scale mating desirable beauty standard imposed on the original peoples slash Native Americans as the Ukrainians um, found them hideous. Yeah, these are the, he encounters a Ukrainian colony in Canada. Uh, their colonization slash stealing land from the Native Americans, them implanting their offspring in Native American families, or at least attempting to, such as husband of sister of the main character, was his name Swede, or w Rory, or Swede, um, to then say they are Native Americans slash what Native Americans look like. They claim their kid is just an albino. Some Europeans call this kind of, of thing magic. Um, a lot of these people know individuals are biological parents slash children, then get a DNA test that says their child is really the biological child just so they can drain the resources. A reminder, DNA in no way documents physical reality. Just bad people trying to coerce others to use words slash names that are not an organism's real name. Uh, analogous situation with skeletons of organism. An organism entirely intact skeleton for an animal in captivity so it grows up in captivity it dies the skeleton is pristine um then somebody comes in and is like i'm going to sample the dna and then they say the dna says the skeleton's not possible that's not possible um so it's it's not the skeleton that's lying it's the person in the dna um so it's uh, perhaps the people are just incapable of remembering. Right? There's just really stupid people in this world. And just to clarify, I am a bit biased. At no point and or points in my life have I ever supported DNA. True. Um, if everybody, every biological parent, child, uh, pair got DNA tests, I think, what was it? Somebody told me once. 98% of those DNA tests would show that the biological parents are not their children. So essentially DNA is used to kind of push want and desire and take um, but doesn't mean it's reality. Okay. Um, so it, yeah. So, there we go. Um, now let's go through my, what I flagged. Um, he brings in, so page 10, I guess I've marked it here, a uh, combination of Curry, French, and English kind of throughout the book, and it doesn't necessarily provide the translation, and I was like, It's very much a teacher thing to do. I appreciate that. Um, especially considering there's a, a book is a finite amount of space. All right. Oh, so page 48, I thought it was a good one. Um, there was a, <laughs> the, the, they're saying, talking about, you know, how all Crees go to hell. There's a, this recurring, like, essentially the invasive human. So anybody who's not Native American comes in and tells all the Native American, they take and steal and mine. They say you're going to help because of who you are and what you, the, your native language and that kind of stuff. That's which still happens today. We still keep getting foreigners coming in here, right? Um, and again, I'm part Native American. Uh, we're not allowed to speak. It's not like our languages. The original people's languages are spoken at the highest level. Uh, it's kind of the only appropriate language. And um, it talks about how uh, if somebody's not baptized, they go to hell. And he had a sibling who was a stillborn, so he asks the question of like, well, what would happen to them? Is a baby that's born uh, before they can get baptized? They're, they're dead before they can get baptized? He's like, uh, the, the person goes, they're gonna go to hell. They went to hell. It's like, well, the only person who went to hell there is the person who said that. All right, page 72. Oh, the Ukrainian stuff, I think. And talks about speaking Ukrainian, so the introduction of the Ukrainian colony, which really comes to wreak havoc in a really upper class wreaking havoc kind of way of everybody else is ugly. Ukrainians are privileged, which continues to this day. There is no more, right, at the international sports governing body level, there is no group of people more privileged by birthday party politics than the Ukrainians. Okay. Um... Page 78 to talk about going to school and having a lunch break where they can go home for lunch. That was true for my parents as well. It's not true for my generation. I was born approximately 1993. Uh, 
the schooling systems have become far less tolerant and accepting uh, these days. Uh, okay, 141, page 141 talks about, well, that Ukrainian colony that's very Catholic or Orthodox or whatever word you want to use. Essentially, the Cree, the Native Americans were tolerant and accepting of um, kind of uh, growth and development. And, well, <laughs> the Catholics are not. The Ukrainians are not. And so that's kind of pointed out. Um, and the people come in and invade North America and they bring with them a culture of intolerance, privilege into and intolerance. Which is for me, all those Ukrainian Orthodox Catholics, they go to hell anyway, so they just are too stupid to realize that. They choose that path. All right, page 153. A mom was about to abuse the children and so the main character goes to stop her and uh, accidentally pushes her down the stairs. And I think this is the reflection on that. So if you've ever heard of like, you know, people falling down stairs, they can be the villain. They're the attacker, right? Sometimes people defend themselves. And then up, up kind of last for my flagged ones is page 162. The Cree language has tansi and tanti, which is T-A-N-S-I. My name is spelled T-A-N-I-S. I've heard so there's structural reinforcement for my, na my name as a word in that right, language. And I've heard that in Cree, Tanis means daughter, but I don't actually know that. I'm not part Cree. But I was like, if that's true, they got a lot of words that are similar. And they got a lot of structural support. My name, Tanis, is not actually a word in the English language. My name is actually Irish. So, yes. And I am part Irish. And I'm also part English. So, yes. Amongst other things. So in conclusion... I would, I, would, I would give five out of five stars and a marked full book number 27 for me for the 2024 year.